Uh, DeMar Hamlin remains in critical condition in a Cincinnati hospital a day after his heart stopped while making a tackle in the opening quarter of the Bills game against the Bengals. Still, many of us are having a hard time trying to process what we saw Monday night and just wanting to hear some good news. Tonight, we're hearing reaction from around the NFL. This is the last thing you want to see. Oh, we were just playing a few games at my house, and um, all of a sudden we saw the ambulance go on the field, and you know it's bad when the ambulance comes on the field, so uh, um, we're just you know praying for him. Jaguars offensive lineman Brandon Sheriff, like many of us, remembers where he was when Bill's safety, DeMar Hamlin, collapsed on the field Monday night. Hamlin had his heartbeat restored on the field after suffering cardiac arrest during the team's game against the Cincinnati Bengals. It's our thoughts are with him, and that's all we can do is pray for him right now. Pittsburgh Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin knows Hamlin well. He's known the 24-year-old since he was 12. Just got a lot of respect and love for him as a human being, um, his commitment to the pursuit of his uh, goals and dreams of doing what it is he's doing right now, which is playing in the NFL. Tomlin says the Steelers have played the Bills each of the last two seasons, and he and Hamlin would always get together to reflect on Hamlin's success. They got a lot of love for that young man. We lifted he, him and that organization up in prayer, um, reached out to Sean McDermott to lend whatever assistance I could. Um, I just respect the fact that you guys appreciate how personal it is for, for me, not only for me, but just for all of us um, as people that, that thrive in this space. Um, that's not obviously something that you ever want to see. DeMar's family released a statement that said, in part, on behalf of our family, we want to express our sincere gratitude for the love and support shown to DeMar during this challenging time. We are deeply moved by the prayers, kind words, and donations from fans around the country. The family went on to thank the first responders and healthcare professionals at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. All right, Chris, thanks so much. And while no specific